Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and Bill's here. And we haven't done a blind in a while. Nope. So it's been a while. Yeah. So, we're doing a blind today. I'm freaking excited because we haven't done one in a while, so. Yeah, so we're doing a blind of Scotch Malt Whiskey Society samples. It's our first time trying it Scotch is. Malt Whiskey Society. So, I'm so excited. When we were at the Bourbon Junkies meetup, I uh, met uh, Craig Puckett and was talking with him, and he said he had Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, and he would and deliver us some samples, so set those over, and we're gonna try these blinds, see which ones we like. And uh, it could be a damn, damn him on this, because it may make us want to order Scotch Malt Whiskey Society well, and become members there. We've already, we've <laughs> like already been looking yeah, into been it for a long for time, a but we just have never made the jump. But so I think- Thank him and possibly damn him all at the same time. Yeah, thank you so much, Craig. <laughs> so let's, oh, do you wanna talk yeah, about yeah. what we have? So. We have five different ones. So the first one here I picked up is uh, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society 55.66, All Things Nice. It's a space side. It's a 13 year old at 64.7 ABV. We have 44.147, which is Worm Senders, space side, eight year, 67.9%. I don't think you need to say the dot, dot, dot. That's the bottle number. Oh, well. So it's the distillery code and bottle number. So 30.118, Head in the Clouds, Space Side, 7 year, 67%. Yeah, that's awesome about Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. You can get cash strength. I'm excited yeah. for that. Yeah, so then we have 4.282, a Bothy, a Bothy Among a, Amongst Mountain Heather. Their names are so crazy. It's a Peated Highland, 10 year, 63.1%. Which is 126.2. Yeah, I'm not going to that. Um, <laughs> 122.43, conjuring up all sorts of images. It's a peated highland, nine years, 61.9%. So these are all some- Like 120s. 120 to 130. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what is exciting to me. So, so yeah, that's what we got here. We have some that are, there are some that are peated in there, so those might stick out, but I They're don't know. They're highland peated, so they might not be crazy, but I have we'll no find idea. Out. I don't know what these are gonna taste like, yep. but I'm excited to try them, so. Yeah, we're just gonna figure out which one we like the most and go from there. Woo! Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm ready for it. All right, you ready to do this? Let's do this. So you poured them, I mixed them, labeled them. We did all of our normal stuff for blinds. It's been a while since we've done a blind. Okay, so ready? Get set. Thanks you guys for being here. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Let's do this thing. Mmm, sweet. That smells very sweet. It smells like birthday cake. Kind of does. It literally smells like. It kind of does. Birthday cake is yeah. literally what I got like as soon as I stuck my nose in there. It literally smells Almost like a funfetti cake. Yeah, it's like ooh and creamy vanilla icing. Yeah. yeah. That literally it smells, smells very like good. birthday cake. The color on this one's crazy compared to all the others. It's a real dark. Oh, amber. dark. Yeah. All the others are pretty light. Yeah, four, that's... four is a little darker, but nowhere near what this is. Sweet birthday cake with a little bit of honey and yep. vanilla. It smells nice. It smells great. I'm ready. Mm. It smells I great. just. Is it just me or do you get like a hint of cinnamon and like smelling that like very tail end of the nose? Maybe? Okay. It might just be me then. Yeah. It smells good. I'm ready to try it. It might be oak that you're getting. It kind of smells mm. Whoa. It's got some proof there, but very sweet. Huh. That's. Tastes like apple juice. Kinda. Apple juice, malty, definitely warm, honeys. It's, I still get some, actually now that it's sitting there, the finish, I get that That's birthday warm. cake. That is warm. That was the warmest pour we've had today. We Ooh. haven't really warmed up that much, so. I mean, what, I had some stuff earlier. I think it was like 100 and, yeah. about My, 100 proof or something like Mine that. was like 90, so. Wow. That is hot. Okay, I get that birthday cake on the back end. It's definitely warm. But. It's not hot on the nose, mm. but whoo. Second sip was not as hot. Mm, that's good. I I think I definitely get bur fun petty birthday cake on this. I do too. With a little I get bit like that vanilla cream frosting too a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly what it. It tastes similar to it smells. Sprinkles. Like, like it doesn't taste different than it smells. It tastes like sprinkles. It smells. Oh yeah, that commercial. Yeah, but it kind of yeah. does taste like those. You know when you bite into a sprinkle. Sprinkles. <laughs> I like I like one so far. That's one really, is good. really good. You can still taste that like wow. normal maltiness of scotch. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I dig it. I actually totally dig it yeah. for scotch. Like I'm used to having a little like, ninety proofers, yeah, that's eighty awesome. proofers. That's really whatever good. that is good. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I have no clue. I poured these and I don't even remember which one was the darker I one, kinda, so I couldn't, couldn't tell you. What I kind of liked about that one is, like, at first I was starting to pull out a little bit of apple juice, but then it just disappeared it was, into that vanilla yeah, cake. It was really right fast. on the very tip of the tongue, and then it went away. I like that because so often, like, typical to me, typical, like, a Speyside or a Holland's gets that really apple juicy yep. honey. This is different. This is different, and I like Whoa. it. So, glass number two. That smells creamy too. Yeah. Creamy. This one has that apple juice kind of. But it still has some of that vanilla. Yep. Vanilla apple juice. Vanilla apple juice, like kind of like you're at a cidery. That honey. Honey, sweet. It smells rich, very rich. Yeah. Thick. It smells, very... it smells like thick, like yep. if you like had a spoon, you so could like scoop it. like thick with three C's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> thick thigh save loves. Oh, wow. That is very creamy. That is very creamy. Much low. It tastes low. It drinks lower This one proof. does not drink proof-wise like one did. Super creamy. This one, I think, has a hint of peat to it. Super balanced all the way through. I do taste a very slight, I mean, like, slight hint of peat on the very back end. But mid-palate, it really reminds me of, like, honeysuckle... And hmm. yeah, honeysuckle, I'm, vanilla, but creamy, like honey, creamy honey, like if you honey butter, like yeah. whipped honey butter. Well, I want honey butter now. Mm, I'm hungry now. Every time we drink, I get so hungry. I understand, like. Well, we're going to an event after this. There's a food truck there. Keep me away. <laughs> Keep me away. I think I, I like, like one more. But... Me too. That was my instant reaction right away. But, but it'll change. When we go back through. This will be the first one you've done a uh, patron only video going back through for a while. I know. It's for the while. second time. It's been a yeah. while. You know what? I kind of just got like a little hint of pep black pepper on the very back end. I wonder of that. if that's the peat. It might be, but I thought I tasted like the slightest hint of peat, but then I also kind of got this very light, like peppery, like peppercorn. Yeah. So far, these are hitters. Oh, and heck yeah. It's it's a Damn you, <laughs> shaking my fist because I'm going to join Scotch Malt Whiskey Society probably now. The nose on whoa. this one is not nearly as good as the others. Why would you say whoa? Like, That's different. It tastes, I mean, smells like just green apples. Yeah. But not like apple. Intense though. What? It's intense. I didn't think it's nearly as rich. Like the last two have been way richer. It's like a not quite ripe green apple. That one's green apple all the way. On the nose, though, it and tastes. The I mean, on the nose, it smelled like a not quite ripe green apple. It's good. It's probably it it's the least. Nose. It's the least complex of the three we've tried so far. It actually tastes better on the palate than the nose. Oh, it's sweet. That's just like a sweet vanilla green apple bomb. It's just like a classic Scotch, but yeah. a cash strength. Which makes it even better. But it doesn't taste that hot. Nah. Not to me. But it just, it's the least, it doesn't have as much going on with it as one and two do. It actually has a little bit of a bitterness to it. I don't get that. Oh, I think I just got some peat in there. Mm. Unless my palate is screwed up from the last one. I don't know. I don't know if I like that one as much. I like it, but I don't like no, it as much. No, I still like it, but I don't like it as much as the other two. I'm like kind of like going Phoop. That's exactly how mine is. Are we going to end up with the same rating again? I don't know. <laughs> we keep I, ending up with the same rating whenever we do these. We have a pretty similar palette. Yeah. For the most part. Now, you like the sweeter stuff more than me. Butterscotch. Holy, Holy butterscotch. Holy moly. Holy. Yeah. That's like... That is like the richest butterscotch I have ever smelled. That is... So, like, that's that just pure. reminds me of just like butterscotch, like uh, scotchy think, cookies. Yes. Like, like oat oatmeal, oatmeal scotchy. butter scotchy. Yeah. Or like... I want those now. It actually smells like a, literally a freshly baked <sighs> butterscotch The cookie. smell on this thing sounded amazing. Or have you ever had a butterscotch fudge shit? Okay, hot fudge Fudge sundae. shit? No. <laughs> no, I haven't had butterscotch shake. fudge shit. I was trying shit. to say shake, but <laughs> have you had a butterscotch hot fudge sundae? My dad loves those. Uh, That's not. what it tastes like. Uh, I mean, smells like it tastes... I love the smell on this. I hope the palate doesn't disappoint. Butterscotch. All Mixed the way. with the apple, though, it's weird. 
I, I like this one. I like it, but I need it. Holy crap. It's so different. It is very different. I, I think I like it. I love this one. Oh, yeah. The second sip did it for me. That is like a pure... That is awesome. Butter, butterscotch, but has like a light, light layer wow. of green apple and like floralness to it in the middle. That's phenomenal. It's really good. It's different too. It's not yeah. like any scotch. No. It is definitely really warm on the back end. Like it is making like, you know, in a very deep part of your throat where it's like, it's like warm back there. <laughs> like in your esophagus, it's very warm. That was really good. Whatever that was. I don't know what it was, but I just spilled water. And the names on these things are just hilarious. That you can't pick what any of these would be by the name. Worm senders. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I didn't taste anything taste like earthy or anything. Head in the clouds. I got my head out the sunroof, blasting my favorite tunes. Hmm. Only got one thing on my mind. Well, you just got deleted from YouTube for copyright issues. <laughs> they won't even know what song it was because I was so off key. Okay. Last number five. That one's actually sweet and caramel. I get bubble gum. I could see that. I definitely got like bubble gum. Like it's like a freshly opened package of Big League Chew. Not the great Big League Chew, which is the best. Just the I bubble gum. I see my instant chew. nose on that was like. Or bubble tape. Either one. The Big League Chew is better. The grape is the best. This is not great Big League Chew, though. This but is great like, Big League Chew is the best. You just put the whole pack in your mouth. It's almost like candy cigarettes and... There's a specific thing that I'm getting. Wow. I just got to find the note for it. That is incredibly sweet. Okay, so there's something very specific. There's bubble gum, candy cigarettes. No, but then on the... Uh, there's one note on the nose. I can't put my finger on it. No, you can't put your nose on it. I don't know. Your nose is better than mine. Sweetheart. No, like a little bit of that, like yeah. powdery. If you stuck your nose That's in the bag, like that's why I said like the, because you big league chew and bubble tape have that powderiness on the gum. Yeah, it's the powder. There's some. Have you ever had that powdered gum? Cornstarch. I don't know what's on. No, no, no. Actually, you know, have you ever had that powdered gum, and then you chew it and it becomes gum? Like it's powder and you put it in your mouth and you chew it. That's the powder. That's, that's what I'm getting. I enjoy that one. I gotta try it now. But you know what I'm talking about. It's powder and it turns, you chew it and it turns into gum. It's like, mm, no. Well, I had it when I was a kid. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, no. leave it in the comments. It's like, it's like a powder and you pour it in your mouth and then you chew it and it turns into gum. It's... Similar taste on the palate. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, but it's not bad. Actually, I kind of don't mind I it. I like it. I like the vanilla. I like it. I like the sweet tart taste, the gum kind of flavor. There's a little bit of caramel actually in there. The bubble gum. It has a bubble gum, like classic Big League Chew bubble gum flavor to me. I really? I, I love. I really like that. Yeah. It like surprised me actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, you know what I like about these so far is that they're not like, that. we've had maybe one or two that are like your typical. Three was very typical. Typical, classic, like orchard, valley, fields, like, malty. you feel like your summer malty, yeah, malty is a good word for it, but, which you get out in your honey, honeysuckle, all that stuff. But these others are so unique and so yeah. different that I, I really love, enjoy these. I love them, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. Holy that just, moly. That Wait. just, this is going to cost me a lot of money. Thanks, Craig. Yeah. Damn you, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, we made it through the first time. And we really liked them. And we have a pretty similar... I think, actually, I gotta go back like this. Okay, so... No, oh, do you just put yours where mine was? No, because I kind of had it Because you looked even. at mine. No, I kind of mm -hmm. had it even. And I think... Okay, so I gotta actually drop that back. That's gonna go back. Ugh. We're See, gonna go back through. I got four or five and one. I know are, like, higher than the That's other two. I but I don't know where, like, We're gonna end level. up with the same again. No, we are, I don't think we will. I don't think we will, because I think you like the butterscotch overall number one. I do right now. And but I think five and four, those are good. I can't decide. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So, if 
here's my shame shameless plug. Shameless you, plug. But if you guys haven't become a patron yet, do become it. a patron, please. It helps, do it. It helps so much. And, okay, we legit have good stuff on there now. I have made merchandise. Well, you haven't made it. Well, it's up on a site. I have a site. Yeah. I, did, I did design it. But you didn't make it. Well, I designed all the stuff. I know. But you oh. didn't make it. So, I designed a bunch of products that you can order. <laughs> There's a shop now. Um, I've also, we have Glens for patrons that you get like after a certain amount of time. There is extra bonus content, including, what did you just do? Threw a water bottle. Okay, off the rails. Uh, but literally, it's a great time to become a patron. We're getting so close to our first goal, but honestly, that first goal has literally just helped keep the lights on. So, once we get like a little, like a few more patrons, we'll be able to like buy a few more bottles here and there and supplement some of what we're spending on bottles because yeah, it is a lot of bottles. killing us. <laughs> like I want to have a savings account instead of spending my savings <laughs> on whiskey. Yeah. I don't know. Anyhow, if you haven't become a patron, thank you so much. I love you. If you have, whatever. Thank you guys. I if love you. If you have, whatever. No, I mean, if you have become a patron, <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much. I love, like the patrons are amazing. I love the patron community. I love all of the whiskey tube community. Mm -hmm. So. If you want to see the second time through, become a patron. If not, you'll get to see the final results in just a second. So we'll be back with the final results. Patrons, we're coming and for you. And it's shenanigans time. Okay, we're back with the final results. And I we haven't looked at each other's, but I kind of yeah. like took a peek. Oh, you I actually, cheater. No, I had mine picked before you. Okay, well, let's figure out what, what do we have. Okay, so I have... Let's start in last place. In last place, I have two, which is... Oh, I got three. You. I have three in fourth place. So, oh, I got two in fourth place. So we flip-flop those, which is fine. I, I could have interchanged them. I just don't know. Third place, I have one. One was hard for me to place. I moved one to third place yeah. as well. <laughs> I did. Um, five, five and, and four. Five and four. Yep. So the only ones we swapped are the last I just really like the peatedness that I got out of three. And I think one, wait, was one the salt? When I, yeah. One was the salted uh, caramel, caramel pop, popcorn. butter popcorn. So when I went back through the second time, one had opened up These are and it literally just like bursted into salted caramel buttered popcorn it, i couldn't i literally put my nose on it and i could not get that thought away so it's still really good it's unique and then we have the birthday cake one and we have like classic one we just we got all the good ones and i really liked the pete and three so all righty let's find out what these i like are. the pete and three it's really good i just couldn't the others were so <laughs> Oh, uh oh, no. she getting drunk. I'm not though. We only put like what half an ounce in here. That should have been misconception. Just because you got hiccups doesn't mean you're drunk. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is a misconception if I ever heard one. Okay. Okay. Do you want to? Let's do this. So. Last place for, for me. Do you want to say my last place or yours? It doesn't. You go. Last place for you. Number two, two. which is fourth for me. So what's the bottom? D. D. A bothy amongst mountain hearts. So that is number two. That is fourth for me, fifth for you. And that is the Highland Peated. I knew it. So we picked the, the Peated's in the last place. Like the la the two Peated's. That is not the oldest one we have. That's the second oldest, 10 year old. It's, it's so good. Oh, it's good. Yep. Um, okay. So then, then my last place, your fourth place is three. What, what do we got here? It's a peated for sure, okay. so it's that Let's, one. Why don't you just look oh, at the bottom? It's that one. It's why don't you Highland... look at the bottom? Hey. That is conjuring up, up all sorts of images. All sorts I of images. I knew it because it was the peated one. We 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 love peat and we put the peat in last. I just fourth picked and fifth it place because the others were so unique compared to that one. Yeah. I still liked it, and I think in the mood, in the mood, depending on my mood, I would pick that. So. Those are the only two we changed. We just flipped off the two peats, but all right. I like now the, the ones one. we have the same. Okay, so numero uno, which is third place. Third place is C. Worm cinders. Worm cinders. That it's is a space side. Eight year space side. That one is a hundred and twenty-four point hundred and. Why don't you just say the eight? Twenty-five. One twenty-five point four. Or so. It doesn't matter. It's still a lot. It's good. Dun, dun, dun. Head in the clouds are all things nice. Which finish first? Uh, Couldn't tell you. All things nice and then head in the clouds. Okay. That's my guess. What's five? Five is second B. Pl second place is all things nice. The 13-year-old oh. space eye. Oh, that means we picked the head second, in the clouds second. as number one. First. first. Head. I got my head out so the sun. So that's four. Roof. 
E. E. Head in the clouds, a seven-year space side. The youngest one. Hey, there goes to our misconception. The age means it's the best. The youngest one. I love the butterscotch that I got out of that. Yeah. That is, like, ridiculously good. Yeah. It surprised so it's, it's the funny. heck out of me. One was the seven-year. Two was the 13-year. <laughs> and and they were both eight. space sides. So we have a we seven, picked... eight, nine, ten, thirteen. So we picked two space well, sides. I think they're all... No, there's a Highland. There's another There's space two Highlands, there. and the last one is a space side. Yep. I don't know. I don't awesome. care. No matter what, these are freaking delicious. Yeah, now I'm going to have to spend more money. We're getting Scotch Whiskey's... I mean, Scotch, Scotch Malt, malt whiskey, society. whiskey Society. We're getting Scotch Malt Whiskey Actually, Society. Actually, I'm curious. Let's look this up right now. What do you do? What is I'm it? I'm looking up which what Distillery 30 is. 30? Wait, why? I want to know what it is. Oh, what Space Side? Do you want to know my guess? I want to know Spring what Bank. Distillery. Spring Bank. Spring Bank is not Space Side. Um, what's a Space Side? Tell me something that's a Space Side that we have. What number is that? I don't know. Uh, it is 30.11. 30 is Glen Roths. So then second place was 55, and that is Royal Broccola. What we got here? One twenty. Broccoli? Royal Broccoli. <laughs> 122, uh, Lac Le Monde. Oh, I like Lac Le Monde. Like Croft Denga Lac Le Monde Distillery. 282. Four. Oh, I mean four. Is Highland Park. And 44. And then 44. Is uh, Craig Alachi? Oh, Craig. Oh, yeah. Craig. Craig. Craig Lachi. Lachi. Yep. Lachi. Deliciousness. I like them all. So, I actually really liked them all. Yeah, they're all really good. They're good. All really good. I would buy them. I actually would buy all of these. Yeah, I'd buy them all. I think I would enjoy all of them on like a, yep. a basis. Yep. A regular basis. Yep. All right. Anyhow, we are like dragging on. We appreciate you guys. We are so grateful for your support. So grateful that you watched. Um, if you guys have tried Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, let us know. Tell us what you think. Tell us why we should do it. We're all, we're all like we're probably gonna do should it. Should we do it or not? Should we do it or not? Is it worth it? What do you think? And um, if you've been on the fence, did this make you change your mind? They're good. They probably they're really us. good. It, I've been on the fence for a while, and I think it did change your mind. It's probably worth the money, I yeah. think it is. So hundred dollars a year and then you gotta buy all the bottles. I think it's fun though to do like the blind and then you could like when you get them, like blind them. Blind them. Blind yeah, is the way to go. Ooh, those are so good. So good. As it's always crushable. though. Crushable at like sixty something percent alcohol. These are that's what I like though, that you get cast strength. I love it. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching the average drinker. I'm Dara. That's Bill. I'm Dara. That's Bill. Do I look like a bill? You said it on the previous video. <laughs> huh. On another video, I accidentally <laughs> said, I'm Bill, and he's Dara. And then I was like, No, oh, I said, I'm Dara, when you said, You're Bill. Yeah, you did. Anyway. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with so much more of The Average Drinker. See you next time. What was that? <laughs>